Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I've been doing a kind of a sequence of episodes that's been color covering the toolbar. Last one was the pen tool. This one, we are covering the hand tool. And also, uh, if you hold down your mouse on this hand here, it brings up, uh, it expands it into two, uh, into an expanded menu. And you have the hand tool and the zoom tool. And we'll cover both of these in here. Uh, the hand tool. So we got the hand selected here. Uh, by the way, the shortcut for hand tool, if you're already on the arrow here, which the shortcut is V or is in Victor, and you want the hand tool, you just hit H. H is the hand tool. And if you want to see what the zoom tool uh, shortcut is, it's right there. It is Z. So if I hit H, it will select hand. If I hit Z, it will select the zoom tool. So let's go back to hand. And what the hand tool does is this. You move down to your timeline, and you can grab your timeline and grab your timeline and move it to a different portion of your timeline. Very simple. I hardly use that just because I like using. Let's go back to my arrow tool. I kind of like just using minus, plus, and the slash key above the enter key, the backslash above the enter key to show your entire timeline. So if you need to quickly navigate to a part portion of your timeline, if you're zoomed up, uh, I just like to hit backslash. It shows the whole timeline. Then you grab your playhead and quickly move to the portion of the timeline that you want. So a little bit redundant. Another thing that it does is if you're doing some compositing, you're kind of zooming up on your image here. If we go up to fit and zoom up to let's go to maybe 200% where it zooms up and you're like trying to crop something out or trying to do a mask on a certain portion of your image. If you hit H, your hand tool, this is a little bit more helpful here where you can move it around on the image. So say we're doing a mask on his face there and I want to zoom up so I can get the mask really accurate here. Uh, let's zoom out to 150 and move up to his face there. And then if we're, if we're zoomed up on his face and we're doing a mask, and this episode is not unmasking, but now you can use your pen tool up in your opacity and shape across his face. You can really see what you're doing. I'm doing this in a hurry, though. And we just cut out his face. Beautiful. Awesome. But yeah, that, that's what the hand tool is also helpful for, is moving, along your, moving uh, around your canvas here uh, so you can kind of see different portions of your canvas. You can also grab these bars and move them around your image as well, but the hand tool is kind of helpful in that regard. Uh, so now if I use my hit H for hand, I can move around my image here and see different portions of my image. Well, and I, I'm not seeing that different images because I just cropped that out with a mask. I'm going to select that, undo it. Let's get rid of that mask there and go back to my normal image and put this back to fit. And let's hit the zoom tool. The zoom tool I pretty much never use. And this is why. Let's say we're zoomed up on my image here. Let's go to uh, hit Z for, for zoom. I'm going to move my mouse over this and it has a little plus on the magnifying glass here. As you click on this, it will zoom up closer and closer on your timeline. If you hold down alt, it turns it to a minus and you can zoom out. And it will zoom out until you see your entire timeline. So to get to that, I hit, uh, if you're not using any modifier keys, um, so let's go V for my selection tool, back to my main selection tool. So I'm going to hit uh, Z to go to my zoom tool. And now it's the plus. So zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm clicking with my mouse here and it's zooming up. And then if you hold down Alt, you do minus, minus, minus by clicking your mouse there while holding down Alt. And like I said, I, I pretty much never use that because uh, I just hit on my keyboard a quicker shortcut, which is up at the top next to the backspace, uh, plus, plus, plus minus, 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 and it does it without having to choose that shortcut there. So those are the hand and the zoom tools. A little bit redundant. I don't use them all that much, but uh, that's what they do. Okay, the next episode, I'm going to be going over the text type tool on the toolbar. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please post them.